G'day folks and welcome to Gormo's Shed. Well the other day I was in the shed here and I was trying to fix a little electrical problem. Yeah so basically I've got one of these panels out and I've got one out down the other end down here and um, I was uh, trying to trace the uh, electrical connection between the two and I normally do that with my multimeter. Now I've got two multimeters, uh, one's pretty ordinary and the other one's <laughs> not much better and they've both been dropped and bashed around over the years. Anyway, both of them are stuffed. So I couldn't get a response out of them so I thought well uh, what am I going to do? So um, I thought well I've got to build, I I've only ever used my multimeter as a continuity tester. In other words to see you know if uh, if a wire soldered onto a rail for example that if you check one end of it and then check the rail you get a current flowing through it. That's all I've, I really do. Uh, I'm not into checking how many ohms and volts and amps and all that sort of stuff's going through these things. So basically I'm using a multimeter as a continuity tester. So I thought well uh, I'll make myself a continuity tester. And uh, I've got uh, this little sucker here made now which is basically um, it's, it's a biro with a, an LED in it and uh, I've got an alligator clip for the other end but I can also slide a, um, a nail in there to act as a probe as well so when you, uh, when you touch the two together, hopefully this will work the LED comes on so it doesn't show up great in this light uh, anyway you can see that it's working yeah so um, what I'm going to do this week is um, show you how I made that and I'll do it sort of via a slideshow uh, but before we get into that uh, I'd just like to update you on platform one platform one is now live it's working uh, albeit with problems and um, the uh, the software was uh, all handled by professional people however the fine-tuning of the uh, software as it is now um, mostly relies on the admin staff who are not professional programmers so it could take a little while because there will be backwards and forwards dialogue between them and the professionals to sort of sort a few things out but mostly it's working so pop in and have a look and uh, yeah see how you go see what the, uh, the new uh, look is like see whether you like it or not anyway uh, so um, what we'll do is get into this uh, continuity tester Right folks, these are the parts we need and I should point out that I've got about 2 metres in length of wire there which will give me a nice run up and down the layout if I need to check anything. So uh, these are our parts. Uh, we only actually need one alligator clip, a couple of bullhead uh, nails uh, which have become our probes and uh, a battery clip there. The red wire is usually the uh, positive wire. Uh, this um, resistor is really meant for 12 volts so if you use a 9 volt setup it might the LED might glow a bit brighter your battery is usually marked with uh, positive and negative uh, terminals but the positive is always the little one we need to get that tip off the, uh, the pen there we need to use that for the nail so take that apart it's quite messy clean it out and then drill it out to suit the nail and the nail's got to be a nice snug fit in there nice tight fit actually in there uh, solder the resistor to the short leg on the uh, LED that's the negative and then solder the red wire the positive to the long leg and then get some needle nose pliers and bend that leg right back behind the LED. This is so we can slide it into the pen. Uh, then uh, solder the resistor across the top of the nail at a right angle to it and then once that's soldered on just bend that wire back at a right angle again so we can slide it through the pen. Uh, the end cap for the pen needs to be drilled out to take the wire to go through it and again that needs to be a nice snug fit. So we can push the uh, plug onto the wire then just slide it along. And then you can take the whole assembly once you've got the plug on and then push it down through the pen so that the nail pops out the bottom there. And once the nail's popped out the bottom, uh, hold the nail with a pair of pliers and slide that uh, tip on. So into the position where you want it and then push that back into the pen and once you've got it into the pen you need to go back to the top of the pen 
and push down the plug that's on the wire and just take up you know any slack in the wire but just be careful how you do that so now that's pretty well set up there and it should look like this or something like that so you can put the uh, the cap back on the pen this isolates that uh, probe for when the whole thing is stored we won't get any short circuits then we go to the black wire and now we solder the alligator clip onto the end of the black wire and then once that's done slide the insulating hood over the alligator clip and then we need to uh, attach these wires to the battery cap so follow the color system black goes to black and red goes to red solder the joints there so you've got a integrity in the joint and then we need to insulate those uh, joints from each other so a bit of tape around each joint just to keep them insulated and then we'll pull those wires together and wrap uh, some tape around them as well that's just to stop them flapping around and uh, keeps everything tidy and insulated then the battery cap can go on so we're, we're getting up to testing now so the battery cap goes on and once the battery cap is on you can clip the alligator clip onto the nail and this should create the circuit that will light up the LED as it has done in this case so folks um, once we've got to that stage we go into the train room and we'll do some testing so we've just put the alligator clip on a rail there and then we use the probe to see if we've got a, a circuit and then we can try the other method where we push the spare nail into the alligator clip and turn that into a probe and uh, like so have it nice and firm in there and then we can go and try that out in the train room as well and uh, use them both as probes and yes it does light up so that's the end of the story for that one the battery has a metal case so to stop any uh, possible short circuits on track or anything it will fit neatly into an old matchbox and uh, just slide the drawer back in get a nice heavy rubber band and strap the uh, cables around there and you can also slide your spare nail in there your spare probe and the whole lot wraps up for storage like that so nothing can short circuit there Well folks, I hope you like that. Uh, it's going to be a handy little gizmo for me and uh, especially handy on the railway because I've got those longer leads. Um, you don't normally get much of a length of lead uh, with a multimeter. So uh, these things are considerably longer so you can clamp it on one end of the, the board and go up the other end and uh, see if you've got a current flowing through, that sort of thing. So that, that could come in handy. Anyway, I'll leave you with it. I'll see you next week. Cheers, go cool, mate.